What I find fascinating is that every time you go to the beach, it's always different. One spot, maybe the beach is eroded, another part there was a landslide, and so understanding why it's different is really a fascinating thing to me. My name is Adam Young. I'm a coastal geomorphologist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. One of the main points of my research is to try to improve and understand how our coastlines evolve. This will help us in the future to make better predictions of how our coastline is going to respond to sea level rise. A lot of my research uses laser technology, LIDAR mapping. We go out into the field with a LIDAR system. This can be either attached to the top of a truck or we also fly it on drones. These tools make very high resolution three-dimensional maps. We can go back over time with sequential surveys to map how much erosion has occurred. And then the other component that we have is measuring the waves when they're hitting the bottom of the cliff. So we can make that quantitative link between the cliff face erosion and the actual erosion that occurs. We have a lot of infrastructure along our coastline, especially in Southern California. We don't just have homes, but we have wastewater treatment plants, we have railways, we have highways, we have military installations, and all of these things are gonna be affected in the future as a shoreline continues to erode. Some signs of cliff instability or you may want to stay away from would be anything that's very steep, cliffs that are undercut, there are sea caves and notches in the bottom of the cliffs. If you see cracking in the cliff or in the cliff top, if you see fresh debris, it's also a sign they're likely to have another failure. Oftentimes when a cliff fails, it's a, actually a series of events. It's not just one failure, so a cliff can be active for a period of days or weeks or even months. Then it's a good idea to probably stay away from that area.